Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kendris. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use vector layers in Clip Studio Paint. So, first of all, you can see that it's a vector layer because it has this little icon on the side. Uh, you know, the regular layers don't have to say the name, but this one has like a little icon over there. And what's pretty cool is that you can draw normally, you can just draw, you know, pen pressure, uh, the ruler. You can use pretty much anything uh, pretty much the same way but the difference is is after you do it edit the line so you can see that it has like a, a lot of different points and change the line let's say you want to change this a little bit or maybe you want to make it longer uh, things like that you can change it if there's any mistakes so the main thing is that it gives you the ability to change things after you drew them. Okay, so let's go into it. Let's say I just go over it, uh, do like the basic line work. So you have a couple settings uh, for the eraser that are different. For example, you can do this, that you just click on it. You kind of go through it. So when you touch it with the eraser, it erases until the next intersecting line. And this is really good because you can kind of, you can just like clean up really quickly. So you know you have if you just go quickly and I like go over there like like that, you can come afterwards and and clean up the drawing pretty quickly. Uh, the vector eraser and then this like three different settings. You can click here, see it tells you what what it is. Um, yeah, I, what I have is this the ease up to intersection so erases like I say uh, until a intersection uh, that's what I use uh, there's this one that just kind of cuts the line uh, you know like like a regular eraser kind of and then this one erases like the whole line as long as it's like together like that you can see the whole line this is the whole line you have that setting uh, it's gonna erase the whole thing but I think this is the best one, the, the middle, because you can just clean up really quickly. Okay, something else. Once you're in the vector layer, it has a couple of different icons. Uh, for example, this one, the object tool, or you can press uh, the letter O. And what it does is like you can select, you click on it and it selects like the whole line. Or you can drag instead of select a couple of them. The control point shows you if you want to add maybe more. And here you can change like if you want like delete or like something like that. But if you want to add a point, this was pretty cool. Is the pinch uh, vector line, and what it does is like depending on the, the strength level. For example, if you have like low level, like you take that the line, like you know, pinch the line, and like you can pull it and like change it a little bit. And the higher you put it, you, you put a, you, you know, you can move like a bigger area. And then the area, you know, this is the effect range, is how big is the, the area you're selecting. Pretty much stress the drawing like that. So yeah, you can do stuff like that. Uh, that's the, this one, the pitch, pinch. And this one is probably my favorite one, the correct line width tool. You can change the line width in different ways. Uh, for example, you can scale up the width. For example, you have this line, and then every time you you go through it, it kind of adds a little bit. See how it's getting like bigger? And the same way, you scale down will like bring it down every time you go through it. Uh, but I like to use the fixed width. What it does is you put like, the width that you want and you know makes the area a little bit bigger uh, and you can actually click process the whole line but I, I don't like that too much I think it looks better like this I think you get like a better effect for example let me just do it here see like it looks kind of more like pen pressure like it, it, it's not gonna go through the whole line so for example you wanna make a thicker outline on the character you know, 
uh, you can just do this and go through it on the outside a little bit and you don't you don't have to like redraw the line or anything like that you just uh, quickly going over and saying okay I want this a, bit, a little bit thicker and then you see you get like a cool um, quick effect same thing here you can just keep adding this uh, and you can always change it back you, you can experiment and like how you want the line weights something that you cannot do on the vector layers in clip studio is you can use the bucket tool that's why on a separate layer i put this uh, regular layer and and then you can just fill over there so a quick tip for moving the lines around is like instead of for example you go here to the object and then like you select and then you want to like say change this line you choose one point and like move it okay I think a better thing to do is just select it and then just drag like the whole thing and you know you move one point and like you move it like that in one direction and then if it comes up on the other side then you can just move the other part and like and move it like that is better because you're not you're gonna keep like the same like smooth line if you start moving points like it might get like a little weird like this right so a better thing to do is that just move the whole line just select the line or like a couple lines you can select both right select like the whole thing uh, this was pretty interesting the redraw vector line pretty much the line is stays the same but the line width uh, changes so let's say you pick a brush like a big brush let's say like uh, and then you have pen pressure this is a little extreme but you can kind of just use the pen pressure and like shape the line however you want it so uh, let me put that more so that makes more sense so you can just go over and say okay I want like heavier here and then you're controlling the pen pressure manually like you want to you put the pen pressure where you want and anything like that and you don't have to worry about making the line like weird like you can make sure everything's ready set you get the lines cut correctly and then you add the pen pressure later like this so i think this is really good to use uh for line drawing and then you know you can add the color on a separate layer but i think it's really good to make uh, your drawings more, it's gonna have like, a more polished look. Um, can get like more smooth lines and things like that. So if you're not using them, I suggest you give it a try. They're really good and they save a lot of time. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys give it a try. So that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Take care. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye.